Welcome back, everybody, to 70 and I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get our horde base fixed up and ready to go uh, for the next horde night, which is actually still four days out, but I'm kind of in the mood to do that, so that is our primary uh, goal for this episode. So let's grab some concrete and some cobblestone. We probably don't need quite that much, but we'll grab it anyway. And let's see, uh, we got wood. Let's grab a little more wood, too, because we'll probably start with wood and upgrades since we get more XP doing it that way. And uh, what else might we need? Uh, we're going to need some steel. Here, let's just take all the, the steel and a stack of iron, too, because we're going to need that for repairing. And actually, um, is that all the steel I actually have? I must have... That's not a lot of steel. That's only 43 blocks there. Okay. We might have to make some more steel before the actual Horde Knight itself. I've been actually using these guys to make uh, cement... Uh, and, you know, getting the, the concrete production going because we're going to need more of it for everything, right? Uh, oh, yeah, we got a ton of concrete going in there. Okay, so let's cut this in half. We'll just add to this, and we'll grab what's already being made. Same thing here, and we'll grab this. Sand and the dirt can go back in there. I'm going to grab some dirt blocks in case we need them for something. And let's also put these on so we get a little extra XP for the building. Okay, so food-wise, um, let's eat this bacon and eggs, and let's get some more bacon and eggs cooking up in here. I've got just gobs and gobs and gobs of canned food. Um, but I need to get some more corn because I have quite a few potatoes, too. I've got 79 potatoes, but I need to get some more corn so we can make some more sham chowder and stuff. I got 10 shams there. And this cupboard uh, is like full stacks of cans. So as you can see, I got a ton of food. Uh, it's just, it's all, you know, mostly canned food. So, okay, so we got that done. Uh, let's grab a, let's drink one of these. Actually, here, let's just grab the whole stack. And we'll get that uh, that food, you know, digestion buff thing from that like we did with the red tea. Um, and we'll grab these, turn this off, and I think we're good to go work on the base. I'm probably forgetting something, but... This should get us started. Oh, that needs to be repaired. Guess we can't repair it while it's animated. There. Okay. The monsters like to hit on that door. So the plan for uh, the horde base this time around, if you watch the last horde night, uh, we're going to build a little cage up on top because... The Zombos seem to uh, funnel down into the area down here when I'm up higher more than when I'm inside of the cage here. i got to get this all repaired, too. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to try and do. So let's get up here. And um, what I'm going to do is we're going to add more plates to the outside of this. So that I'm protected, you know, from cops, bed, and vultures. And, um, trying to think. I, you know, we don't really need these extra bars down there, but I guess there's no, we don't necessarily need to take them down either. Okay, so let's start by going to here, and we want to go to plates. And we're just going to uh, copy rotation here. And I don't think we'll have. SI trouble with this. This is actually more sturdy than it looks, but we will keep an eye on that. If the block starts to turn a different color, then we know we're kind of getting to the point where the SI is not so great. And this is really just kind of a jank add-on to the original base. I hadn't planned on doing this, but, you know, just in using the base here, um, I've discovered that it works better when I'm standing up here. So... Uh, you know, we're not going to rebuild the whole damn thing. We're just going to add on to it to make it work the best way that it can for us. Okay, so that takes care of that. Let's get, um, do we want to put something behind here too? Yeah, we probably should because we could get spit on from a cop coming from that direction. Um, so let's, yeah, let's go ahead and do this too. We'll just take it all the way back here. All right. Uh, copy rotation. 
and we got to step back just a little bit so that'll fit there. Yeah, everything's staying white, so SI should be just fine with all of this. I really like that new feature in this game where it, you know it'll let us know if it's a uh, if it's unstable. Of course, we kind of discovered that the hard way, but <laughs> uh, okay, let's get these upgraded. Very good. All right, now uh, we're going to take and put bars up on top. One thing I've noticed that the Zombos do, sometimes they'll jump up on top of this and can actually jump up here. It doesn't happen a lot, but it can happen. I'm trying to think if I want to try and do something about that. Um, the thing is, is if I had more blocks of this, it could change their AI pathing, you know, in this area. And, it, you know, it happens so infrequently that if they do get up here, we could probably just use little friend to deal with them. Um, so, ah, oh shit, I need scrap iron. Let's, um, let's take uh, a few of these and scrap them. So just so we can repair this. Um, yeah, so I think... I hesitate to add more blocks to this because here again, it could change the AI pathing. But I think we're just going to deal with those occasional Zeeks that come up here. We'll just blast them with little friend or something. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to get to uh, shape menu and we want to go to catwalks and then bars. Okay, and then we have to rotate these. What if we do one on face? What's it do? Yeah, that's exactly what we wanted to do. Um, are we gonna be able to get underneath that? I th yeah, I think so. It's no, no, no. Thank goodness we can pick those damn things up, huh? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. See, we can't get underneath it because of these bars. Okay, I'm just gonna remove those other bars then. Um, that's what we need to do. Did I bring the auger with me? I didn't. Son of a bitch. All right. I'm not going back for it. Okay. Um, I'm going to break these bars and then we'll go from there. Okay. So now we can move around here. Let's get this one in place too. And then we'll get uh, these guys upgraded. Oh, those are turned the wrong direction. I should have... Oh, I didn't mean to upgrade that to steel. Damn it. Uh, here, let's um do... Well, look. Look who we got here. Come on in the pit, boys and girls. Oh, I, le <laughs> I left that part open. Oops. All right. Okay, let's... Uh, let's run down here. And have them come back out. I'm going, why aren't they pathing correctly? What did, what's, what did I do wrong? Okay. I was going to do an explosion on them, but they're being a little bit uncooperative right now. So, oh shit. They get a little bit of shotgun action instead. Okay, yeah, I was a little, I was a little worried there for a second. I'm going, oh no, the AI pathing's broken. Uh, you know, one, well, something I, that just occurred to me though is I'm gonna have a hard time clearing the ramps now. Hmm. Ah, yeah, I don't know about that. I'll have to think about how that part's gonna work. Maybe I won't really need to now that we got the new configuration. That's too bad. I didn't uh let's see we want to do copy rotation it's too bad i didn't um have those doors closed so we could have seen you know how they would pass but oh I, I did that to steal again damn it jim i didn't mean to do that these don't need to be steel Ooh, fat loot box needs to be fixed okay so let's get um that repaired let's get that repaired and i can you know reach the fat loot box of course from up here now too because i <clears throat> we didn't need that protective plate any longer so for the ramps, hmm, can I jump on this? Oh, ah, not good. Um, 
Houston? This is... Mm, this might be a problem. Crap. Um... <laughs> what the hell do I do? Oh, shit. Um... I'm probably going to have to break that bar, fall down, break my leg to get out of here. You know what, though? It's, a, it's probably a good thing I discovered this little problem right now as opposed to later. Can I crouch and just get under it? Oh, just about. That's so close, you guys. But not quite. Oh, shit. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to break this. This 10,000 hit point piece of steel. Son of a bitch, man. I can't even stand back up. Not that it matters. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in 10,000 years. Oh, wait a second. No, yeah, I should be able to break this. Okay. I have an idea. Can we... Possibly... Do that. No, it's not going to let me get up there. Okay, well, it was worth a try. Um, let's just finish this out and see if we can break our leg. Oh, good. We didn't fall all the way in the pit. All right, let's uh, replace this. Copy rotation. Why doesn't this have a copy rotation? Uh, copy shape. Oh, right here. That was weird. Okay. I was looking for a different icon. That's why that threw me off. Okay, that's fixed. <coughs> okay, so, yeah, I got to figure out... Uh, I'll do all the repairs later uh, off camera. I've got to figure out what we're going to do about... If I if I fall in there, I'm stuck there for the whole rest of the Horde night. And that probably wouldn't go well for me. Uh, I wouldn't be... Probably would, well, yeah, I don't know. That wouldn't go well for me. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Uh, so let's climb whoop, climb up here, get back a little further. There we go. Uh, we got to take these ac er, ladders back down. Actually, you know what, though? Those might stop the zombies from getting up here. Maybe not spiders, but uh, I don't know if the ladder is the best. Well, it could, actually. Hmm. We definitely don't want this one, so let's get rid of this one. Okay. Um, this would prevent me from accidentally falling in the hole. Um, what about throwing these? I could still get up here and throw bombs down into there. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's what we should do. Can I throw through this part of the ladder? No. So that's actually solid even though it doesn't look like it. Um, what might be better if we're going to do this is to put a bar in there instead then. And that would definitely keep the tall zombos from being able to get up to me. Possibly spiders could get up. And more importantly, it's going to prevent me from accidentally falling down into the hole. All right. Yeah, let's do that. And we might as well switch this out to a 90 degree bar if we're going to do that. And I think that's probably the answer. And I still have plenty of room, you know, to run all the way back here in case I miss throw it to get out of the explosion radius. Sometimes it's actually helpful for the bomb to drop up here. Oh, you know what? Speaking of which, don't drop in there. 
I gotta pick those bombs back up or they'll despawn. Ah, oh, shit, I just missed it. <laughs> oh, well, they're cheap. Not that I wanted to waste it, but whatever. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I think that's the answer. We'll put the angled uh, bar in there instead. Let's actually lift these up in case we do happen to get another little horde coming through here. And that's going to protect us from Zombos jumping up here and from me accidentally falling in that hole. It makes, you know, uh, throwing our, our bombs a little less ideal. But we want to we want to be able to survive. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to here. This is also gonna put the bars the other way too. But I'm not redoing really all this now. Ain't gonna happen. So we want the corner bars, and we want to put them in here. But we just have to rotate them the correct direction. Like that. Okay. You know what? I'm going to make that steel too. Because uh, we could get dudes jumping up on top of here and then trying to hit on it. Okay, so... Um... Yeah. We should... We can still do this. They, they don't quite go... It's harder to get them right down the center now, though. See, and, and sometimes I'm going to do that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if I actually like this after all. It's, well, I, I got to rethink that. I got to rethink that. I'm not, I'm not super happy with that. Not going to lie. I'm not super happy with that. All right, let's pick these back up before they disappear. What I basically need is a way, ideally... I, I wasn't so worried about the zombies occasionally getting up to me, but I'm more worried about me accidentally falling in that hole that we can't get out of. But we need to we need to have a pretty smooth ability to chuck these bombs because we're going to be chucking, you know, potentially hundred. Oh, there's another one out there. Hundreds of them, you know, throughout the course of the night. Ah, crap, it just disappeared. I wish the game would not do that. When you throw them down, let them stay there for at least a little longer. I guess they do that so we can't spam huge explosions. And I get that, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, oh, you know what we could actually do? Um, well, I don't know if we can do this with bars, though. Let's look at something. There is... Um, let me see here. I wonder if we could put in a... I'm just... I'm just thinking out loud here for a second, guys. Alright, let me... Let me try something. Okay. Now, let's take... This... Copy rotation... And put it back here, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna upgrade it yet. Now, whoops, can I go to here? And I'm looking for this kind of idea, but the skinnier pillar. E, uh, yeah, this one here. Okay, so can we? Attach this to jump here. There we go. No, no. There. Aha. We could even put one here, too, I think. I'm in the way is the problem. Can I get this way just a little bit more? Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I'm too too much in the way. Okay, here. Let's... change these back to 
There's normal blocks and put that there. Uh, I want it to actually hang off of that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is... Go up there and see if this should work. I'm thinking this will work. Yeah, okay. So this is going to stop Zeke's from getting to me. It's going to stop me from getting, uh, accidentally getting down there. But I should be able to more clearly throw the bombs down there. Okay, I like this. I like this. All right, let's go pick up the bombs, and then we'll come back up and upgrade uh, that. I think that'll work. I think that will work. We just had to work the problem a little bit more and come up with a little bit better solution than the, you know, than the right-angled um, bars, because I just wasn't wasn't happy with that one. Okay, hold on. Uh, right, it, right here. Okay, so yeah, let's grab this, and we're gonna make all this steel. Perfect. Okay, I like it. I like it. I wonder though. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if this is gonna change the AI pathing though. Uh, can we find a Zom? I mean, I know I could spawn some in with the cheat menu. I got it. I got a comment from one of you guys complaining that I did that. Um, cause I guess, uh, apparently that person thought that I was ruining the experience or something like that. Um, you know, but people feel the way they feel. I don't agree with it, but it is what it is. It's not something I do all the time anyway, but we are trying to test something. But I guess the argument against it is this is a, a survival mode playthrough, so could be maybe seen as cheaty. It's not something I do all the time, though, so I'm not planning, and I'm not going to do it this time. Uh, if we could find a Larry the Lumberjack and lure him over here we could see if it makes a difference because if it does I'm, i'd have to take those bars back out and then just try and be careful not to fall off the <laughs> fall off the end of that um here that damn larry's all around all the time being a nuisance and now i need him and he's not anywhere to be found of course that is par for the course let's see if we can find a larry and lure him over here okay there's a larry hey dummy come over here Hello? Come get me. Here he comes. I need to give myself enough time to get over here and get those up so he can't path that way. Okay, let's see if he comes through here. Oh, dude, here. I think he lost sight of me. Hmm. So he's hitting on the stairs. We might need to do something about that. Maybe I cut a hole up uh, through the top area. Okay, here he comes. Now he's now he's pathing. Yeah, I still think those the ramps are going to be a bit of a of a problem. Oh shit! <laughs> 
I don't know about this, you guys. This is this makes the throwing of the bombs a lot more dangerous. How did that not kill you? Um. Ah! <laughs> I tried to pick it back up. It's like nope, no picking it back up. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, this is not gonna work. That's why we're testing it now. All right. You know what? I'm gonna have to just take my chances and not fall in that damn hole. That's all there is to it. Because this is too dangerous. Uh, for me. For, for the throwing of the bombs. You know what, though? I do have another idea. I have another idea up my sleeve. We need to actually go take care of that guy. He's just going to keep busting things up. See, that works really well because it just funnels her right down on top of their heads. But this next idea I have might help with that. Okay, so one thing we could do is just put another one of those arrow blocks and stick it off of here. That actually might be... Uh, the only... The only thing about doing that is it could change their pathing. Um, all right, let's jump down here and put that up there. But that should allow me, uh, you know, that should fix the problem with throwing the bombs, I would think. Yeah. Plus it gives me a little bit of of protection from cops, you know, spitting at me from way out there. That's the that's the solution, you guys. Okay, let's go pick up those bombs before they despawn. See, it's just again a matter of working the problem. Um the only reservation I have about this is will it change their pathing? Um it shouldn't, I think, but I don't know. We won't really know until we get a horde. It's too bad that running horde, well, yeah, it's too bad that running horde didn't come until now. <laughs> uh, but what can you do, right? What can you do? And, you know, since this is a, a survival let's play, I, I'm not going to cheat the zombies in. We're, we're just going to take our chances. Okay, so let's get this upgraded. Perfect. Okay, I like this solution. Now, you know... This does not actually prevent me from still falling down in there, though. I'm gonna have to. I'm still gonna have to be really careful, unless I. What if we did something like? Hmm, we gotta think about this for a minute. What if we put a cross beam, uh, like a skinny one? this one here okay let's do an advanced rotation see now I'm not gonna I can't jump and I can't just accidentally fall down there but we still should have a pretty clear throwing path There we go. Working the problem, baby. Working the problem. As long as, like, again, like I said, it doesn't stop, it doesn't change the way they path. And we won't really know that until the time comes. Let's grab that one and this. Oh, did that one just disappear? Oh, no, it fell down here. I'm going to say, wow, that was fast. Okay. So the only other thing now is what are we going to do about ramp access for me up there? I think 
maybe what we should try and do is bust out maybe the second block in so I can stand and shoot down here if they if they do pile up on the ramps let's cut out one side first and just look at that and see see what it looks like um, so I'm thinking this this block here okay so zombies pile up on the ramp well see we can't shoot them Let's eat both of these. We can't shoot them if they're further down is the thing. Um, how easy is it going to be for me to throw a bomb out there? Oh, not too hard, actually. Yeah, okay. The bomb's probably going to do a better job of clearing them than shooting is anyway. Okay, I think that'll work. So we just cut out the other side. Now we're going to lose the bar on top if we cut out the other. No, we won't. They're, it's still connected to the the bars on each side of it. So that, that should be fine. That's not going to collapse. Now, you know, we could still take cop spit from here, but, you know, at least we could duck behind here or, well, we can't really crouch, or behind here. So I'll just have to manage that as best as I can. I wonder if buzzards would fly in here. Well, if they do, they're going to get blasted. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's cut this piece out. And then I think we're pretty in pretty good shape for the modifications that we want to make to the base here. Um, <clears throat> we could introduce electric fences. If we did that down below, that's going to help pr uh, reduce the damage that they cause on the pit because they're going to be stun locked from the electricity a lot. Um, let's, let's consider that. Let's consider that possibility. So the idea would be, I'd have to, I'd have to dig down and get on the other sides of these walls. But if we ran lines across, all the way in the cross in the pit, you know, they fall down, they get stun locked. That's going to greatly reduce the damage that they'll be able to do. Uh, to the pit. The only problem with that setup is I can't repair because I can't get to the fence post. So they'd only work until they didn't work anymore, which would, you know, probably be maybe 30-40% into the Horde Knight before they would wear out, I'm guessing, without any repairing. Of course, it depends upon the size of the Horde and all that, too. Um, if we ran them vertically... So, hmm, I don't know, that could be tricky. We ran them vertically. All right, here, let's go back up for a second. Let's get back up in our little perch up here. Okay, so... I'm just trying to see if there's a way I could position the end of the fence post so I could reach them to repair. Uh, they'd have to kind of come along the top of here, and they would probably be subject to getting whacked by the Zika Roos. Hmm... Yeah, I don't, um, I don't know. That's not just thinking about that in my mind. It's not, not quite working out. So I think what we, if we, if we introduce fence posts, we would set them up, um, and I, I, you know, have a, an access way on each side of the wall here for me to put them in place, and we just let them run until you know they wore out. So they wouldn't last the entire horde night, but they would certainly give us some nice crowd control in the early, you know, the earlier part of the horde anyway. Um, but I'm not so sure I'm going to do that. We'll have to, we'll have to think about that. We'll have to think about that. 
The other, the other thing we could consider is dart traps. So we could line dart traps up along here, fill them up, let them do their thing until the Horde Knight's over, and then that's it. So that's another possibility, too. I, I tend to like electric fences over dart traps because the electric fences will stun them, whereas the darts do not. Um, the darts will do more damage, I think, than the electric fences, but I'd rather have them stunned and not damaging the pit and let me take care of the damage with the explosions. Plus, I'll get more XP for it anyway that way. Uh, I'll upgrade that to steel once I'm can, sure I can get everything else repaired here. So let me think about that. We might try and run with it one more time without any any trap assistance, but I think we're going to eventually need it because, you know, the hordes are just going to get worse and worse. Um, but, you know, with this, like I said, with this design, the problem with it, or the, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. The challenge with it is that I, I can't repair the traps from where I'm at. So they would just run until, uh, they would run and then be, damn it, uh, and then be done. I shouldn't even be trying to repair concrete while I have steel in my inventory. Uh, so let's finish this. Uh, is it the ladder that needs to be repaired? No, I think it was the block. Okay, everything is good there. Uh, that needs to be hit. That definitely needs to be hit. Yeah, there's not really any reason for us to make anything above the fourth block, or the third block, rather, steel. Because those blocks are, are going to take minimal damage in comparison. Um, okay, did we get the, the floor? Okay, I think so. Now, um, I'm going to hit that. And we talked about making uh, doubling up here. Just because this is where they hit the most, obviously, right? Okay, so let's go here and here and here. There we go. Okay. So I think that takes care of all the steel upgrading. Uh, actually, there might be a couple more things up here that I need. Or not upgrading, I'm sorry, repairing. Uh, that might need some attention like that guy needs just a little smidge. Let's go up here. Hit that. And that. I think I already got that. Uh, all of this up here. Well, did I? Yeah, that's that's concrete. I'm going to take, like I said, take the steel out of my inventory when I do the concrete so I don't accidentally do those upgrades like I, we already did. It's an expensive mistake, man. Um, okay, so all of this should be good. And then uh, down here, that block... And yeah, I think we're good. All the steel's upgraded. Okay, so let's go back down here. How much steel do I have left? I have... I can do 17 more blocks. Okay, so let's upgrade this to steel. Very good. Okay. I think the rest of this is just going to be touching up the concrete, which I, I will do off camera. And I think that's going to wrap up this episode. So well, we'll see how things go on Horde 56. And if I feel like the, you know, the base took excessive damage, then we'll have to figure out the best way to incorporate traps into the design uh, for the Horde night after. So that is the plan. All right, you guys. So thank you very much for hanging out today. Hope you guys enjoyed this little building episode. And um, not sure what we'll do in the next episode. We still have a few more. Wait, I thought I just. Oh, shit. I thought I just removed the steel from my inventory. What did I do? Take the iron out? Um, 
So, not sure what we'll do into the next episode. We will, uh, we'll figure that out, of course. Uh, but we do have a couple more days before the actual Horde Night comes. Uh, we have more House Flipper episodes to do. So, we might actually do a House Flipper episode uh, next. Because I still have, I have at least two more, I think, that we want to do before, you know, before it's all, I get the house the way that I want it. It might even be, you know, like three more. So, we'll see how that goes. Um... We aren't going to be on this series for too much longer. This is going to break and I don't have any damn repair kits with me. Um, and then my plan for seven days is to start an Undead Legacy series. Uh, and very much looking forward to that. However, those of you who watched the previous series, we're not going to do Horde every night. I decided that I do not like Horde every night. It's just, it's kind of a cool idea and exciting at first, but it just gets to be a drag after after a while because you, you can't get anything done. It's just, a, you know, it's great for XP and all that, but I really grew weary of it in the, the latter part of that series. Uh, so we're just going to do Horde, you know, on normal days and, oh, yep, there it goes, it broke. And, uh, you know, go from there. Uh, so, anyway, that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.